Well, afternoon and I'm good to be here. Joyce, just tell us about your journey with cancer and, and the writing of this book. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed by breast, for breast cancer in 2008 mm -hmm. um, after I've been knocked by a car on my way to work. Mm -hmm. It was not easy, it was hard, but I believe that there's nothing that God cannot do. And the reason why I wrote this book, I actually saw that there's no point for me to live. I'm going to die anyway. Mm. So I, I suggested that, you know, let me just write an obituary so that my parents, my sister and my friends, they mustn't say that I've been killed by maybe HIV or any, any disease. Mm. But I should tell the world that this is the disease that I didn't invite into mm -hmm. my life, but it has forcefully itself onto my life. So I asked a friend of mine and she borrowed me her laptop and I used it. And when I was writing this book, I was bedridden. That's, that's very interesting. You know, death is, is, uh, is for certain for everybody, mm -hmm. but in your case, it's, it's imminent. Mm -hmm. Uh, how does one come to terms with it and, and when did you come to terms with it? Um, 2010, I told myself that there is nothing that is going to beat me. I am bigger than cancer. I am not going to allow any situation or circumstances to tell me who am I. And I just want the world to know that there is nothing that God cannot do. So I wrote this book and knowing the stage that I am, I just told myself that if God allowed this book can be sold and so that my son should have money for his studies, if I won't be around by then. But now I'm seeing the book live and I'm so much grateful to God that this is really a workable journey. Though it's not easy, it's quite difficult, mm -hmm. but I've seen the hand of God in this. That is fantastic. Now, when, when, when one reads this book, what is the message? Uh, what is the thing that you want to stay with people? Uh, positive thinking. If you think positive, if you put yourself into other people's shoes, there's nothing, there's nothing, believe you me, that mm. can beat the positive thinking, positive mind. That's all. Tell us about the book launch tomorrow. That must be quite exciting for you. And, and tell us about uh, who's sponsoring, sponsoring, uh, sponsoring you. Wow, uh, Professor Stella Vittori, mm -hmm. she's the one who's sponsoring me. And eventually I wanted the, 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 the launch to be at Kahisanong Hall. And she just changed everything for my life. And I'm so much grateful for her. She's the one who's sponsoring everything. And with the support of Tinsualo Matebula, Joyce Lehote, and Professor Renier, Belisier, chairperson of SBL, Mrs. Madiseko and my pastor, Pastor Nomon Demjali. Uh, uh, a lot of first-time uh, first uh, writers, uh, they've got trouble publishing uh, books. Um, how did you find yourself in this situation and, 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 and how easy or difficult was it for you to get published? Um, I spoke to Mrs. Irene Seko and I told her that I want to publish a book. Uh, this is the book that I wrote and I need it to be published. Then uh, uh, eventually I met Pastor Hezekiel and then he's the one who sponsored me with this book. I had, you know, I was not working and I'm a temp where mm. I am working, but I've seen God working miraculously. With my salary, I was able to pay for the copies of this book. That's fantastic news. Just finally, there are lots of other people in a similar predicament and, and at times it's maybe difficult for them to talk about it and come out about it. What, what is your message to, to all the cancer sufferers out there right now? Positive thinking. Surround yourself with people who always impact your life, people who will motivate who you are and then eventually you're going to make it. Well, Joyce, you're an abs absolute inspiration to, uh, to everyone in this country and, and uh, especially me today. I was feeling a little bit low this morning. I thought that I was a little bit tired and I couldn't wait for the weekend, but you've just given me a lift because I now know that I have so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's uh, the author of the book. This book, it is Walkable Journey. It's called by Joyce Matrisa, and uh, it goes on sale uh, around the country from tomorrow. If you want some inspirational work, words, please read this book. Uh, it should stand us all in good stead.